students from today we are going to go with the second last chapter of the syllabus for the first semester that is hello alkane and hello arenes so we are going we are stepping for the first time to the organic chemistry section and the first chapter is hello alkane and hello arenes out there so we are going to discuss in detail about this from today onwards so students first you need to remember that hello alkane means aliphatic compound Whereas haloarenes means aromatic compound. To remember, haloalkane means aliphatic compound. Haloarenes means aromatic compound. And usually, aromatic contains benzene ring, which are called aryl. Okay, which are called aryl. Next thing, students, what you have to remember is whenever we represent aliphatic, we represent by R, and aromatic by AR. R AR means aryl group, which is benzene ring. R means alkyl group, which means methyl, ethyl and so on. So this is one of the example of haloalkane and this is the example of haloarenes. And do remember this X which you see out here can be replaced with fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. Therefore the name can be, we can say the name as methyl chloride, methyl fluoride, methyl bromide, methyl iodide if you replace X with dissolve. Similarly here it is called chlorobenzene, fluorobenzene, bromobenzene and iodobenzene if you replace with dissolve. So this comes under aliphatic haloalkane and in aromatic haloarenes. Now whenever we say haloalkane, you can see this methyl is here. Instead of halogen, I have written X out here. X means halogen. And in haloarenes, I made this one out here. This carbon which you see in haloalkane shows sp3 hybridization. So haloalkane where you see an X is connected by sp3 hybridization. Whereas in haloarenes, again in this corner there is carbon, you know that. In this corner, 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 all, in all the corners there is carbon. So I am highlighting this carbon to you. This carbon and halogen are linked by sp2 hybridization. So do remember, in haloalkane, carbon has shows sp3 hybridization. In haloarenes, it shows sp2 hybridization. Because you know that ENE means alkane and alkane shows sp3 hybridization. And here is ENE means alkene, shows sp2. That way also you can remember. Now from today, we are going to learn is about haloalkane first. After completing haloalkane, we go to the haloarenes. So we are going to start this aliphatic compound about haloalkanes from today. So now students, haloalkane, we are going to start from today. So halo means halo students, alkane means hydrocarbon. Hydrocarbon are those compounds which contains carbon and hydrogen. Carbon and hydrogen compound are called hydrocarbon and usually alkanes are hydrocarbon. So instead of saying halo alkane, you can even say halo hydrocarbon, halo to hydrocarbon from today onwards. Okay. Now this halo hydrocarbon, which you have to learn under halo alkane, is of three types. One is called monohalo hydrocarbon, the other is called dihalo hydrocarbon, and the last one is called trihalo hydrocarbon. So you can say this way also: monohalo hydrocarbon, dihalo hydrocarbon, trihalo hydrocarbon are the three examples of halohydrocarbon or haloalkane, the aliphatic part, in which halohydrocarbon, monohalohydrocarbon is also known by the name alkyl halide. So do remember the another name of monohalohydrocarbon is alkyl halide represented by Rx. Okay, there is no such name for dihalohydrocarbon. Trihalohydrocarbon is also known by the name haloform. So do remember trihalohydrocarbon is also known by the name haloform. So monohalohydrocarbon is called alkyl halide, represented by Rx. Trihalohydrocarbon is also known by the name haloform, represented by CHX3, trihalohydrocarbon. But such name we don't have for dihalo. Now let us see some example of all these hydrocarbons. Okay. Now I'll go first with your alkyl halide, monohalohydrocarbon, alkyl halide Rx. So R can be replaced with methyl, ethyl, propyl, like that. So this R is what out here? Methyl. This R is what here? Ethyl. This R is what here? Propyl. This R out here is isopropyl. And this R out here is T-butyl, we say. So how to remember? Methyl means CH3. Remember, at CH2, you get ethyl. Again, at CH2, you get propyl. CH3 means methyl. At CH2, you get ethyl. Again, at CH2, you get propyl and so on. If you add one more CH2 here, that becomes butyl and so on methyl ethyl propyl now this is called isopropyl how to remember the formula of isopropyl ch in the middle 
CS2, CS2, two side is called isopropyl. Or you can even call it by the name secpropyl. And the last one is called T-butyl. C in the middle and three sides CS3 is called T-butyl. Okay. So the name of this compound is what? Methyl. The name of this compound is ethyl. The name of this compound is propyl. The name of this compound is isopropyl. Or you can even say sec propyl. Isopropyl or sec propyl. And the name of the last one is T butyl. Okay. Now, if I put here halogen X, it may be chlorine, chlorine bromine iodine. If, if I put here X, so this becomes methyl halide. If I put here chlorine, methyl chloride. Uh, if you put here bromine, methyl bromide, iodine, methyl iodide, and so on. So here it is called ethyl halide. Similarly, ethyl fluoride, ethyl bromide, ethyl iodide, ethyl chloride. This is called propyl halide. Means uh, your propyl chloride, propyl bromide, propyl iodide, propyl chloride. If you replace X with chlorine, fluorine, bromine, or iodine. Now this one is called isopropyl. So if I write here X, this is called isopropyl halide. Or you can say sec propyl halide. Okay, sec propyl halide. Isopropyl or sec propyl. And here also, if I write here X, then it is called T butyl halide. And you can replace here fluorine, so tertiary butyl fluoride, tertiary butyl fluoride, bromide, and iodide. You can see. So these are last some, some of the examples of monohalo hydrocarbon. Monohalo hydrocarbon. Monohalo hydrocarbon. Monohalo hydrocarbon. Monohalo hydrocarbon. Monohalo hydrocarbon. Okay. Now this monohalo hydrocarbon, also known by the name alkyl halide, is of three types. One is called primary alkyl halide. The other is called secondary alkyl halide. The third one is called tertiary alkyl halide. Primary, secondary, and tertiary alkyl halide. These are the three types of alkyl halide. Primary, secondary, and tertiary alkyl halide. Primary we represent by 1 degree, secondary we represent by 2 degree, tertiary we represent by 3 degree. So primary, secondary, tertiary, alkyl halide we say it as. Now how to recognize which is primary, secondary and tertiary. So if halogen is linked with CH2, we call primary, halogen linked with CH is called secondary and halogen linked with C is called tertiary. So you can see out here, halogen is linked with only C, halogen is only linked with C out here. So it is called tertiary butyl halide. So this T stands for tertiary. This small T stands for tertiary. So this is tertiary alkyl halide. So I'll put here 3 degree. Now if you see here, halogen is linked with CH. Halogen is linked with CH. Halogen is linked with CH. So this is the example of secondary alkyl halide. So example of secondary alkyl halide is isopropyl halide or secpropyl halide, where halide can be replaced with fluorine, fluorine, bromine, and iodine. So you can see here halogen link with C is tertiary. So example is T-butyl halide. Halogen link with uh, CH is secondary. This is the example of secondary alkyl halide. Now halogen link with CH2 is called primary. So you can see here halogen is linked with CH2. So it is primary alkyl halide, 1 degree. Halogen is linked with CH. It is primary alkyl halide, 1 degree. Here also halogen is linked with not CH but CH3. But still we consider it as 1 degree. So, methyl halide, ethyl halide, propyl halide is referred as primary alkyl halide because halogen is linked with CH2. Only in this case, halogen link is linked with CH3, but yet we consider it as primary. Whereas halogen linked with CH is secondary, halogen linked with C is tertiary. So, do remember monohalohydrocarbon alkyl halide is a fruit three types primary, secondary, and tertiary. Link with C is tertiary, link with CH is secondary, link with CH2 is primary. And example of primary are the above three. Secondary example is isopropyl or sec propyl, where the sec means secondary, 2 degree, and T butyl halide is for tertiary, where T stands for tertiary. So, this is the classification of monohalohydrocarbon alkyl halide. Now, we go to the dihalohydrocarbon students. Dihalohydrocarbon, dihalohydrocarbon, dihalohydrocarbon are of two types. One is called weak dihalide, the other is called zem dihalide. Now, look out here. If the halogens are with two different carbon atom. It is dihalide because there are two halogen dihalide, but it is called weak dihalide. But if the halogens are with the same carbon, this is called zem dihalide. So if the two halogens are with two different carbon, we call weak dihalide. 
if the two halogens are with same carbon we call gem dihalide so this is the example of weak dihalide this is the example of gem dihalide so halogen with the two different carbon atoms weak halogen with the same carbon atom gem now always remember the valency of carbon is 4 to make the valency of carbon 4 we have to add hydrogen you can see here 1 2 3 4 to make 4 i am adding hydrogen 1 so valency is 4 only 1 so 3 is lacking so we add 3 hydrogen here 1 2 out of 4 valency of carbon 1 2 is satisfied 2 is not so put 2 hydrogen here also 1 2 out of 4 2 is satisfied 2 is not so put 2 hydrogen so this is one of the example of weak dihalide this is the example of gem dihalide okay this is about dihalohydrocarbon of two type weak and gem hope so you understood if not you can repeat the video now we go to the example of trihalohydrocarbon also known by the name halophob trihalohydrocarbon if you replace this x with chlorine it becomes chloroform if you replace this x with bromine it becomes bromoform if you replace this x with iodine this x with iodine it becomes iodoform so chloroform bromoform iodoform are the example of trihalohydrocarbon 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 so this is this is all about the classification of haloalkane that is halohydrocarbon okay so we will be doing haloalkane first then haloarenes later now let us see what we have to learn out here monohalohydrocarbon we have to learn preparation properties how we can prepare it preparation has to be learned along with its property in under trihalohydrocarbon we have to learn about chloroform and iodoform preparation properties test and uses but for bromoform we don't have to learn anything so do remember monohalohydrocarbon everything is in syllabus preparation properties whereas in trihalohydrocarbon we have to learn only about chloroform and iodoform we don't have to learn about bromoform and what we have to learn about chloroform and iodoform is preparation properties and test and uses whereas dihalohydrocarbon is not in the syllabus but still remember what are the two types of dihalohydrocarbon weak and gem with different carbon atom two halogen weak two halogen with the same carbon gem so we have to learn is about monohalohydrocarbon preparation properties chloroform iodoform preparation properties test and uses we don't have to learn for bromoform and iodoform dihalohydrocarbon is not in the syllabus still remember the meaning of gem and weak now i will show you students the example of gem and weak though it is not in the syllabus just remember one one example of both you can see here the two halogens are with the same carbon two halogens are with the same carbon so we can consider it as gem dichloride gem dihalide or you can say gem dichloride because there are two coal chlorine out here here also if you see the two halogens are with the same carbon so therefore this is also gem dihalide or instead of halide you can say chloride these are the two example of gem dihalide now what are their names to know their names students you can make their IUPAC name this is the general name now count the longest carbon chain one two longest carbon chain is one two and why I'm counting this way because hal chlorine will come early if you count from this way chlorine will come later one two so in this way it's coming early so we'll start counting this way now if you check here in one chlorine is hanging again in one chlorine is hanging one chlorine is hanging one chlorine is hanging so don't know there are how many chlorine is hanging dichloro is hanging one comma one dichloro is hanging now two carbon is here the longest carbon chain is two one two two carbon means eth and here is single bond single bond means a so the general name of this compound is dihal gem dihalide but the particular name is 1 comma 1 dichloroethane now we go with the next this one common name you understood general di uh, gem dichloride now the particular name count the longest carbon chain 1 2 3 if you count this way this chlorine lies in number 2 position if you count from back also it lies in the same position that is number 2 so whether you count from front or back it doesn't matter here so the name in 2 chlorine is hanging again in 2 chlorine is hanging 2 comma 2 how many chlorine is hanging total dichloro 2 comma 2 dichloro is hanging 2 comma 2 total dichloro is hanging and 3 carbon means probe 
1 carbon means meet, 2 carbon means eat, 3 carbon means probe. So here are 3 carbon, so 3 carbon means probe. And here are single bond. So we write N. So general name of the both of them is same dichloride. Particular name 1 comma 1 dichloroethane. Particular name 2 comma 2 dichloropropane. So these are the examples of same dihalide. Now for the weak, we can see I'll write here CH2, CH2, Cl and Cl. Now if you compare here, the two halogens that is chlorine are with the same or different carbon. They are with the different carbon. So we can consider it as weak dichloride because they are with the different. Now the IPEC name, longest carbon is, chain is 2 you can see here. So in one chlorine is hanging you can see. In two also chlorine is hanging. So we write 1 comma 2. Total how many chlorine is hanging? 2 chlorine. So we write dichloro. 1 comma 2. 1 comma 2 dichloro is done. Now 2 carbon is there so we write eth and single bond is there so we write A. So one of the example of weak dichloride is this one and the IPEC name of this is 1 comma 2 dichloroethane. So I gave you some example of dihalohydrocarbon, gem and weak, remember it, along with their IUPAC names. Similarly, you need to learn the IUPAC name for monohalohydrocarbon, even for trihalohydrocarbon. And IEPC name I have already taught you in class 11. So from there you can make it out the IEPC name of some other compounds. Okay, you can make the IEPC name of some other compounds in that way for which you can refer the book. So from here I would like to conclude saying that we have finished the uh, classification of haloalkanes. Now we will be doing the preparation of monohalohydrocarbon. Then dihalohydrocarbon is not in the syllabus, then directly we will go to trihalo. After completing all about haloalkane, we will go to the haloarenes. And whatever I have said to you, hope so you understood. You can repeat the video to understand better. And we have finished the classification of halohydrocarbon, three types. Do remember, make the notes by taking the screenshot. Do make the notes by taking the screenshot, students. And do remember, we have to learn for this preparation properties. For this preparation properties, test uses of chloroform, iodoform. Dihalo is not in the syllabus. But do remember, it is of two type with particular example. So in my next class, start, students, we are going to start is the with the preparation of monohalohydrocarbon, that is alkyl halide. So first, we do the preparation of monohalohydrocarbon, that is alkyl halide, represented by Rx. After that, the properties. After completing this, we go to directly to trihalo because dihalo is not in the syllabus. Under trihalo, we learn about chloroform, iodoform. After completing everything, then we move on to halo airing students. Thank you very much.